in today's world, we all need to run on a schedule. Because if without a schedule, you normally get kind of hectic and you over plan. So here you can see this is my schedule for a week. I start on Sunday and go to Saturday. And I start at 8 a.m. in the morning and go all the way down to 12 p.m. And I do it in four phases. So our first phase I call the layout. On the layout, this is when I normally make my Excel sheet and get it ready, clear it all out from the week before, and get it going for the next week. And then I figure out what is what I have to do that week. So my class schedules, I get those in right away. If I have to work, I get those times in. And say you have to eat on a certain schedule. You get those in, and then etc. Whatever you have to do that week. Then I go into phase two, which I call the importance and non-importance. This is when I figure out for the week what is important that I have to get done. So like my homework assignments for the week, got to get those done. My studying for the week, have to get that in. Working out for some people, that's like a must. Got to get that in. Then you have your non-importance, which is video games, television, doing bad things, partying, all that. You want to figure, get all your non-importance out of the way so you're not tempted to do it. Then we move in to what I call stage three, which is time management. And this is when I go from my 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. and fill out my slots that I haven't gone through. So like, I'll go like 8 a.m. is when I wake up every day, except for on Fridays because I have class at 8, so I'll get up early on Friday, but that's the only day. And I will fill out my empty slots with extra things, like homework for instance, like it may not take me an hour to do a homework assignment, it could take me longer, so I'll fill it in. Um, studying for a test, I'll add extra study time in through my week if I have like a big test coming up. Um, and let's see, uh, taking notes for one of my classes, I have to watch videos and take notes on it. So I will do that. And then I move into phase four. And this is what I call the practice stage. Because not everyone is perfect. They're not gonna do it first go. And so I say start off slow, only add in like your important stuff for the week, only put those in, don't schedule anything else. Start it off slow, get used to that schedule. And then slowly, slowly add more things as you go on and just keep trying. So like as I conclude it, as is you gotta remember the four steps, the layout, importance, non-importance, time management, and practice. It's like the biggest things I can preach. And that is how I make a perfect schedule.